We broke the world. Our early experiments in time travel released massive amounts of chronal radiation into the time stream with devastating results. As the particles traveled back through time, they altered countless seemingly insignificant decisions throughout history. But where causality is concerned, nothing is insignificant. The result is the radioactive nightmare of a world that lies beyond the protective screens of this facility. If we are to have any hope of restoring the time stream, then we must employ the very cause of the problem itself, time travel. But we must be very cautious. For the risks of direct interference are potentially greater than what we have already faced. We must surgically alter the past, correcting the decisions that were corrupted, and leave it to the butterfly effect to restore the future. This is not an easy task, as many, many events were changed. And if we succeed completely, then we may wipe ourselves out of existence. But if humanity is saved, then that is a price worth paying. Okay. Welcome to Eternal Threads. Y'all watch the same little preamble I did. You know what's going on. We gotta go back in time to save the future. Simple shit, you know? Norm, ooh, game mode, okay. Uh, oh. Hmm, the full- normal, the full game with all events, decisions, objects, locations, and endings available. A bridge, an easier, quicker to play version with a reduced number of events and decisions would be impossible to fully explore the house, learn all secrets, or achieve the best ending. It cuts, what, like almost 20 decisions out? Uh, let's go normal! Fuck it? Question mark? I don't know. They, you don't give me like a play time here. Okay, you autosave. You're ridiculously quiet up there, Control. Oh, oh. Hello there, 43. I see you are fully qualified now, huh? Hey, that's very good. Good. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's find you a real mission then. Yeah, please. Hey, uh, ah, tier 3. That's not too bad. SCP, difficult. hold on, wait a minute. one location. It's good. good. I don't think it's the same SCP. Tronius fatalities. Could be worse, 43. Okay. Okay. To fix this timeline, all six subjects must be saved, and you are only authorized to alter the decisions they made in the week before they died. Mm -hmm. Change the right set of decisions, and you save them all. Got my fucking so, phantom thermos. Let's find somewhere to drop you with no witnesses. Alrighty. Busy. God, busy always happens to me. Wait, ah, wait, okay, we got something, 43. It's a few hours afterwards, it looks clean. Mm, it's dark, though. Don't worry, I'll send some lights. Thanks, Control. Yippee. Let's get you when and where you need to be. Okay. Initiating crossover sequence. Come on, little beep booper. Oh, we're spinning. Hmm. Temporal crossover in five seconds. I see you on the other side, 43. Bye, control. Three, two, one. Temporal crossover initiated. Temporal okay. crossover complete. Light drones inbound. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello, little guys. Light drones crossover complete. Okay, so. Burn. Uh, I said, Lone Peace 43. Good. Good, right. Okay, let's get you set up. We got cross temporal radio. Activate your visualizer. My visualizer, okay. I'm British. No. Location, Alderbeck, UK. Temporal oh. reference, 4.03 a.m., okay. 20th of May, 2015. Oh my god. Perfect. 
Now you'll probably need some boosters, okay? Your system will be checking now. Please place first signal booster at location indicated on visualizer. Okay. Uh, what did I say, huh? Okay, 43. You just need to head towards that little white dot on your visualizer. Do you understand? Oh. What's right here? F. F to Fenton Thermos. Oh, it's a tripod! Nifty! Okay. Please place second signal booster. What the hell happened here, huh? Is that blood? House definitely crispy. Uh, probably in this room. Shush. Hi. Yeah. So the fire was out in the middle, it looks like. From what I know about fire. Which, granted, isn't that much, but... Shush. Another Please one. Please place final signal booster. Okay. Blah. If the target of the visualizer is located on a different floor, the white dot will be placed with an arrow. Up means up, down means down. Okay, cool, thank you. Ah. Upstairs it is, then. Six people died here. Damn. Clock still works. And took him right in that little corner. Just gotta calibrate the doohickey. Or whatever. Alrighty. Activating signal boosters. Initiating scan. Got Oh, Jesus. You gotta blink like that? That's broken. Scan complete. Oh. Corruption detected. Six erroneous Jenny fatalities ben confirmed. Raquel Tom Conclusion Lee. event determined. Location transfer to visualizer. Okay, downstairs. Ah, the system is locked in. Good, good, good. Okay. Oh, hello. Go follow the target on your visualizer and we can see how the story currently ends. Conclusion event. Okay. Oh, whoa! Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Six should have survived, mm -hmm. but time is being corrupted, and now they are very, very dead. Very, very dead. Stopping the fire would fix all of <clears> this, <throat> of course, 43, but forecasting is saying this has major repercussions further down the timeline. Okay. Which is why you are using a scalpel instead of swinging a axe. Mm -hmm. Analyzing timeline. Evaluating events. Okay. Time map available. Ooh, time map. Ah, good, okay. Open up your time map and I will talk you through it. Space bar for the time map. That's no jumping for me. Here's the end of the time map, mm -hmm. 43. The large hexagon is oh a conclusion goodness. event and you can return here and rewatch it at any time. Oh, Small hexagons are the final events for each of the subjects. God. 
If you change someone's fate, mm -hmm. then both their final event and the conclusion event will change. Okay. Oh, I just get. Oh, we keep going. Oh my god, we keep going. The white events are all part of the current, current timeline, timeline and can be watched at any time and in any order. <laughs> The grayed out events are potential events from alternative timelines and cannot currently be watched. Okay. If you change a decision which alters the timeline, some events will change state from one to the other. Okay. Once you have watched a decision, 43, it will appear on the map as a diamond, so it is easier to find it again later. Mm hmm The portraits at the top will show you who is in each event as well as whether they are alive or dead on the current timeline, 43. Oh my and God. this is the earliest event on the timeline. Like the rest, it currently has a question mark because there's a lot it has of not shit that yet I been can't watched. change yet. Well, only you can choose any event in any order, 43. Let's just start here for now. Select this event, and I'll check everything is working as it should. Do you understand? Oh my God. Okay. Good, we're ready. Let's go. Day one, Wednesday, 0800. Location, Tom's room. Hello, Tom's room. Yes, your room didn't burn down. Hi, Tom. Tom! You are the fucking catalyst to all this, you butterfly-looking motherfucker. I mean, yeah, he's he's looking better. <gasps> you got a bird! I'm your friend. Oh, you look Frankie. You are a horrible bird keeper. But I like you. No. It's not as often. But he's... He's still pulling out his feathers every now and then. Yeah, because he doesn't have any fucking toys in there. Or room to explore. Yeah, I talked to the vets. Mm -hmm. They want to keep him overnight. I just, I just don't know if that will cause more stress. You know, potential corruption point. <sighs> A decision forty-three. This is fortunate. Oh we my goodness! Try and change it, okay? So we can make sure everything is working properly. Yes. Oh, okay. So currently, we wait and see if Frank gets better on his own. But in an alternate universe, we booked an appointment for Frank. Go ahead, book that appointment. It's good for him. Yeah, you're right. They had an appointment for next Tuesday. So I'll book him in for then. So, sorry, Oop. That's, that's the door. I've got to go. Bing -bong. I'll speak to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. Are you... You are the reason? Oh, look! 43, the birdcage is gone. Good. Oh. Good, 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 good. Frank is alive! Okay. This means your visualizer is working properly and you're oh, fully yay. able to change the timeline. We saved the bonus, bird. The little birdie also gets to live too. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, eh? Oh, this is so good. Anyway, probably best to head back to the time map and select another event. Yes? Banana. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to, like, be a nosy bitch. Rent book. Rent payment. Put his things in the safe. Paid, 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 late, late, where is he? Nothing, nothing, put his things in the safe. Ooh, somebody skimping on rent. What's that? Want to grow liquid feed, potting compost, daylight bulbs, cash. Hmm. I see. Growing things, are we, Tom? What's that? Last will and testament of Barbara Wilson. Damn. 
neat. What's this now? Collections. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of money, Mr. Tom. Jesus. Okay, so he's always a lot of money. I have to open the time map. If you're clicking on the time map, press and hold left while... Or you can... Different day down here. Okay. Tom decided to book a vet appointment for his budgie. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Day to the next one. one. Wednesday. 8.01. Location. Hall. Okay. Hey boys, Tom, Neil, and Linda, you're all dead, but not for very long. Bing bong. Oh, okay. Hiya, you must be Linda. Come in. Ah, oh, thanks. Hiya, Linda. Hiya. Hi. Hiya, Neil. Well, it's good to see you. Oh, and you. It's good to be here. Oh, uh, this is Tom. He's the landlord. Ah. Don't know what I would have done without you. Ah, uh, look, I've just got a spare room. That's not all your stuff, is it? Oh, no, there's more in the car. Keys? Right, back in a minute. Okay. So, uh, how about a quick tour? Lead on. Mm-hmm. So Linda's moving in. Whoa. Call this one crossing the threshold? What's this? Mail. The occupier. My <laughs> brother Neil and was introduced to Tom. Okay, so the, I've already, uh, for gore. When it's a diamond, it's a choice I made. And when it's not, it's something that's just kind of there. Day one, Wednesday, 8.04. Location, kitchen. Hello, y'all. We are introducing Jenny. And here's the kitchen. Guys, this is Linda. Hi. Linda, Hi. this is Ben and Jenny. Like the ice cream? <laughs> That's us. We're just so sweet, aren't we, honey? Ah, oh, we certainly are. You're thinking about Jerry, oh, Linda. I'm also a bit late for work. Dr. Ben, I presume? Oh, the uniform. Well, that, along with your excellent bedside manner with the young lady in pyjamas. Oh, she called me young. She can stay. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't. See you tonight. See ya. And I guess I'll see the two of you later as well. Yeah, take it easy, mate, mate. See ya. Mm -hmm. Right, time to see your room. Mm -hmm. I love that we're just fucking titling things. Like the ice cream! Buy more milk. Well, I don't think you're going to be buying much of anything nowadays. You got Juff peanut butter? I thought that said ugg-and-go. Up-and-go cereal? Some toasted pastries? Oh, bro, I could go for some toasted pastries. She's got the microwave. Dirty bowl. Why can't I open random cabinets? Why is this something I can do? That's a picture. Or oh, Tom's starting his new school. You could pinch those cheeks. This boy's about to know the horrors of terrorism across the pond. Domestic? I don't think it was domestic terrorism. Mr. Monroe. Ooh, you've been turned down by the building merchant. So he is... Is this insurance fraud gone wrong? Yes, let's party! 2014. Whip me up some sin. Giant ghost, my inner fire smoking frenzy. Full moon dream. 
Shout of Freaks. Okay, we got some certified bangers on the radio. What is this? Why are you ironing a shopping list? Tequila! Some crisps. Okay. Oh, let's go to the next event. Event four. Linda's room. Day one, Wednesday, eight oh nine. Location, Linda's room. Oh, we have fucking evidence? Are we immolating Linda? And this is you. So, was he? Hmm? The previous tenant, born to rock? Well, he certainly wasn't born to stick around and pay the rent, <laughs> but I doubt it. Why? He's left his guitar. I'll get rid Ooh. of it all for you. Ooh. Potential corruption point. If you rewatch a decision, a button will appear next to your device. Pressing this button will pause the event and to select the outcome without having to wait until the decision point. If you change the decision, the event will jump forward to the decision point and then continue onwards, showing you the new result. What is it? Leave the guitar and posters, take them away. Let's just change whatever we fucking can. Why not? Take it away. Get rid of it. Yeah. I know I'm not in Kansas anymore, but my days as a rock chick are way over. <laughs> sure thing, Dorothy. <laughs> Uh, where'd you want these? Oh, just put them anywhere, Toto. What? <laughs> Cute. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 Huh. Okay. Nice castle thing. Lynn, what's going on? You weren't making much sense last time we spoke. Then I come home to find you gone and a note on the fridge saying you're leaving me. Karen read the note, you know, he's really upset. As you're not answering your phone, I asked Anthea to pass this note to you. I just want to talk without shouting and screaming and I've been under a lot of pressure at work and that's what really caused all this. I told you it was a big mistake going back. It's just too demanding when you've got me and Karen to look after as well. Please, let's just meet up and talk anytime, anywhere, but let's get over this and back to home for Karen's sake. Call me Harry. Okay, so what is going on, Linda, with you and Harry, hmm? He's not good for you, babe? He's so not good for you that you left your kid? Ooh, cell phone. Oh. Look, love, it's not forever. Like I've explained, I'll see you Saturday. How was school? It was okay, I guess. When are you coming home, Mum? What have you had for tea? Pizza, again. Mum, you promised it would be soon. I'll pick you up from school tomorrow and we'll go home. You're coming home? For real, for good? Yes, brush your teeth and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Love you too, Mom. Ooh, and then we didn't make it home. We burned up in a house fire. Nothing in your closet? Got some sick ass shades. Why don't. Ma'am, you had a perfectly good bedside table right there. Why are you putting the bowl on the fucking floor? Huh? You also left your credit card out. I'm stealing your information. What's our next event? Agreed to let Tom tidy it up a little. Ball. Day one, Wednesday, 810. Location, hall. <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hi, Neil. Anything for me in there? Ooh. Don't think so. I'll double check. Double check! Give him his fucking mail if he has some. Uh, hold on, I'll, um, I'll double check. Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, here you go. Cheers. Uh, can I squeeze past? Work. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. See you, Doc. See you, Neil. Mm-hmm. So, that is a decision? That has a butterfly effect? Making sure whether or not Ben gets his mail? That's crazy. 
Ups. Wrong button. Final fate of the housemates. Okay, so, and then we can just come back here and keep watching and see, like, okay. Did Dom and the budgie change anything? Did taking the poster down do anything? Did that do anything? Oops. Oh! And I can just... I can just ch change it like that? Okay. Sick. Well, let's watch this one, though. Day 1, Wednesday. 8.15. Location. Oops, landing. Okay, I figured out... Yep, I did press shift and learn how to hoof. Hello. Raquel. New character. That's the bathroom, and this is my bedroom. Oh, what a nice view. Morning. 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 Hello. Hi. Who was that? I have no idea. Mm. Oh, hi. I'm Raquel. You must be... Jealous. Uh, this is, um, Linda. My sister. So I guess she knows all your childhood secrets then. Oh, I could tell a tale or two. <laughs> Leave them alone, you two. Spoil sport. We can talk later. But now, I suppose I'd better go throw some clothes on. Okay. Okay. Just don't make me regret this. <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Hornet hideout. Altitude sickness. Yo. Pussy patrol! Yo. Nice dog. Can I take him home? Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh. The lady's boudoir is locked. A familiar feeling. Maybe there's a spare key lying around somewhere. Hmm. Hello, sport ballroom. Laptop open on the floor under the bed. Ooh. Glad you come to the party tonight. Maybe I can show you my room. Really sorry about what happened about last night, Em. I don't know what happened. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, Neil, buddy. Neil's having a bad time with women. Good fucking God. Dearest Neil. Can I just... Oh, thank God. Dearest Neil. Hi, love. It's your mom. I've tried ringing a few times, but I guess you've been busy, so I thought I'd be a bit old-fashioned to put pen to paper and write you a letter. Well, I finally managed to shake off the cold that I've had for almost three months. The doctor said it wasn't anything serious, but there was some sort of secondary infection, so he had me on the antibiotics. I also had a few hot toddies before going to bed, and one or the other seems to have worked. Your dad's still pottering off down the allotment, or at least that's what he says. He thinks I can't smell the pints of the pints of bitter on his breath when he gets back. Silly man. Still, at least he keeps him quiet and lets me wash my soaps in peace. We missed you at Easter. The lamb was almost perfect, but with just the two of us, we were eating bubble and squeak for days afterwards. Still, with your exams coming up, I can understand why you'd want to take some time out. Oh, and I bumped into your old math teacher, Mrs. Willis when I was out, out, in, out in town on Tuesday. She's retired now, but she still remembers you, her star pupil. She asked how you were doing and wanted, to know, wanted you to know she was proud of you. Linda's been in touch. She said she wanted to talk to you about something, so I've passed you her number, told you you're really busy, but she said she'll drop you a text. Anyway, I'll sign off now, as I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'm sure you don't need your old mum nagging at you. But if you find yourself with half an hour to spare, I'd love to hear your voice, all my love, mum. Okay. Wow. I do it. Cool. Is any of this pay rent relevant? Mallorca. Oh boy. Hola and Merry Xmas from Mallorca. Hope you went home, but if not, then maybe this will cheer you up a bit. Gotta get you a card at Christmas even. I know that, and I'm a. Oh, just give me a button. Even I know that, and I'm a Hindu. Christmas is weird in Spain. They got bonfires and practical jokes, and no presents till January. 
Man's arthritis is much better out here, though, so that's good. The senoritas. Wow, man. Anyway, see you soon. Ian, international man of mystery. Thanks, Ian. Oh, he was a gamer. And he used... Diverted traffic. Why do you steal so many street signs? Thief? I can't get in there. Where's our next spot? Linda met Raquel and everybody met Zach. <laughs> oh, we're going to Neil's room. Cool. Day one. Yay. Wednesday, 826. Location, Neil's room.